Welcome to the French Riviera, an iconic destination that is world renowned for its rich history, beautiful scenery, and of course, the glitz and the glamour. Today, we're in a small seaside town called Airs Bord de Mer, just 10 kilometers from Monaco, and I'm so excited and privileged to be about to show you around this very special and unique property today. So without further ado, I'm gonna come down and let you in. There really is so much to unpack here and I'm so excited to show you around. But first things first, you enter this property through your own private gated driveway and then driving up to the back of the house, you have two covered garages and a motor court. Now, before we begin the tour, a few quick fire stats as always. We are standing on a plot of 2,933 square meters of beautifully landscaped grounds, and the property itself comprises 570 square meters of built space. Now that includes the main house behind me, which dates back to the early 1800s, an external studio, including a music recording studio, which I'm going to show you a little bit later on, and even a private chapel dating back to the 1700s. And I'll show you that later as well, so you'll have to stay watching. For now, let's head inside and begin the tour. As we enter the house on the ground floor, you come through the entrance hall and directly into this spectacular reception room. In here, you have ceilings over four meters high, so you really have this feeling of airiness and spaciousness and volume. You also have French doors leading you directly out onto the terrace with the garden beyond. The French doors also serve, of course, to bring a lot of natural light into this space. And this is really a house that you can feel is filled with history and has a real soul. On the floor, you have original Venetian mosaic tiles, and behind me, you have a working stone fireplace. Now, the fireplace is surrounded by bespoke cabinetry and shelving, making for the perfect library, and I really like the use of mirror, adding some depth to the space and bouncing the light around to create an even more bright, airy feeling in this room. To my left, through two archways, this space flows seamlessly into the den. Now this is set up as a really cozy space. Again, perfect for a library, or at the moment you have sofas in there and a flat screen TV, so perfect for watching movies, cozying up in the evening. Across the hall, through another set of arches, you have the dining room and the kitchen. And as you know, I firmly believe in the saying, the kitchen is the heart of the home. So we're gonna check it out now. Here in the kitchen, again, we have these fantastic volumes. This really is a great space, full of natural lights. It's very bright. You have French doors leading you out to the side of the house. And then in front of me, you have two arches leading you through into the dining room with the French doors leading you onto the garden beyond that. I love this space. I think it's full of character, just like the rest of the house. I particularly love the stone sink behind me, which I think is so unique. And then I really like like the contrast between the steel range behind me and the antiques that you have in here and all of the wood that kind of echo the wooden beams above. Now, particularly interesting is this antique wooden island. Now, I don't know if the original intended purpose of this antique was to be a kitchen island, but it works so well in here. The dining room flows seamlessly off of the kitchen through the arches. You have beautiful hardwood floors and again, these magnificent proportions. The whole of the ground floor has a very kind of open plan feel to it. So even though you have these different distinct spaces, they all connect and flow seamlessly together. And I think that creates such a nice energy in a home. When you're entertaining guests, the flow of people and movement is just really free around this whole floor of the house. Stepping out onto the terrace and down into the garden, you can begin to get a sense of the architecture of the main villa here. Now this is a typical Niçoise style villa, so it's in the style of the typical type of villa that you'd find in Nice, here on the Riviera, and it draws inspiration from classical Italian architecture. Now here in the garden, I mean, this is what it's all about. You can really start to appreciate the beautiful, far-reaching sea views, and the fact that you have completely unobstructed views is a really special and rare thing to have here on the Riviera. 
I really like this fountain and the classical sculptures that line the front here. I mean, this is breathtaking. The garden extends here with this large terrace and of course the large infinity pool in front of me. Behind me you have a covered terrace area which could make a perfect pool house or an outdoor kitchen and I think this is just such a great space. You have unobstructed sea views and here you get the sun all day long so it's a real sun trap and such a special area to have again here in the coast where it's generally quite developed but here you feel like you're in your own private sanctuary and oasis. The principal bedroom suite spans across the entirety of the second floor. So you have a walk-in wardrobe, an ensuite bathroom, and this divine principal bedroom. To my left, there are five French doors leading you out onto a terrace. Of course, the piano behind me, which leaves you a little bit of a hint as to who the current owner might be. I'm gonna come back to that later, but right now I want to take you out onto the balcony to show you the view you could be waking up to in the morning. I know you're admiring the beautiful stained glass door, but come and check out the ensuite bathroom for the principal bedroom suite. Now this is an incredible bathroom. I mean, it's really opulent in its proportions. And from here, you have beautiful views along the coast and across the mountains. You have this incredible jacuzzi tub behind me, and I can just imagine lying back in the tub, relaxing, whilst somebody accompanies me lying here on the chaise longue, reading me a book. On the first floor, we have the second bedroom suite. And again, this is a really generously laid out and proportioned bedroom. You have a walk-in wardrobe, which has a beautiful piano in front of the window, an ensuite bathroom, which has a bit of a blue theme to it. And in here, we have more of a yellow color palette. I think this is such a comfortable room with beautiful antique furniture and just a really special place to go to bed in the evening and wake up in the morning. Now this house is a little bit unusual because of the current owner who is living here. It's not laid out as a family house at the moment with lots and lots of bedrooms. So I'm gonna take you into what could be a third bedroom suite in just a second. It's not at the moment, it's something much more unique. But the important thing to remember here is that this is a really sizable, well-proportioned house and you could increase the number of bedrooms if you needed to. But for now, let's go and check out very, very special office. So I've already said that for me, this house is full of soul and spirit. And so it's no surprise that the current owner is a very well-known photographer and musician. So as I said, this space here could be another bedroom, but right now it is the most spectacular office. You have this kind of waiting room area here with a library to my right, and then through the arch in front of me, you have a large open plan office with French windows, again leading you out onto the balcony. And I think that is such an inspiring view to work and spend your days looking out to. So we are now in the external studio building. We've just been in the office and you've seen that we've come through the recording studio. Now this is obviously something very unique and I can tell you that lots of very well-known musicians have actually performed in this property. The current owner has lived here for over 20 years and during that time he's obviously done various projects to renovate and update the property, including this studio building. As you can see, and you can probably tell, it's a completely different feel to the main house. It's very fresh, it's very modern and contemporary, and this space here is just really white and bright and full of natural light. In front of me, almost the entire wall is one large glass pane that slides open so you can combine this space seamlessly with the terrace. And in the summer, 
releasing that shade, you get a lot of natural light, a nice breeze through here. I think this is such a dreamy room. And they've really utilized the space. So this can be a multifunctional family room. It's a bit of an informal reception room. You've got the kitchen run behind me. So this whole building could in effect be its own self-contained apartment. I really like the white piano behind me. And if you remember, we saw another white piano in the principal bedroom. You'll see a lot of hints and references to music and to art and photography in this house. And I think this is such an incredible space to allow somebody to be totally creative and inspired by the view and the nature around you. Now on the wall to my left, you have a very large flat screen TV with surround sound system. And in here you also have a separate cozy dark cinema room to retreat to possibly during a cold or an odd gray day here on the French Riviera. But if you don't need a second cinema space, you can convert that into a bedroom. And then you really do have like a guest apartment out here. And that space also has an ensuite shower room as well. So I think this is just such an incredible space and such a luxury to have here. So now from something very contemporary to something very historic, follow me. So saving the best for last, we end here at the private chapel on the grounds of the property. This chapel dates back to the early 1700s and I think this is just the cherry on top of the cake for such a magnificent villa here in the south of France. I mean, how many properties do you know that have their very own private chapel? I can just imagine the weddings and the private Sunday services that you can have here. I think this is really, really unique. What I also love here is the approach to the chapel. You have to climb up three sets of steps through the rear gardens, through the lemon grove to reach the chapel and the whole way up you just have this beautiful vision above you. The interior of the chapel is equally as magnificent in itself and particularly well preserved. You have beautiful original frescoed ceilings and a frescoed altar and for me this is my, definitely my favourite thing about this property. So that concludes our tour for today. I've really enjoyed showing you around this majestic villa steeped in history here in Esbord de Mer on the French Riviera. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way I can bring you lots more exciting, exclusive property tours. See you soon.